This video is meant to assist in clarifying how to tighten the glide plug screw when complying with Cessna Service Bulletin SEB 27-01 Revision 2 Control Column Glide Screw Installation. The Service Bulletin does not provide a specific torque for tightening the glide plug screw. Rather, it says to tighten the screw until there is no lateral free play in the control column between the glide and the outer control tube and there is no friction through the full range of travel. To better understand this, we have removed the control column assembly from the airplane. Note that the outer dimension of the glide is very close to the inside diameter of the control column. The plug is cone-shaped and tightening the screw will expand the glide inside the control column. This expansion removes the lateral free play but can induce excessive friction if over-tightened. Since the outer dimension of the glide and the inner dimension of the control column are so close, the lateral free play is typically non-existent to begin with, so very little torque is actually needed to tighten the screw and remove the lateral free play. Hence the main reason a specific torque could not be specified. Mechanics should not confuse the normal movement of the control column between the collar, as you see here, with the lateral free play called out in the service bulletin. When the screw is properly tightened, the control column will move smoothly and no internal friction will be encountered.